And literally that's the reason why this is about to become the best GoPro for fishing vloggers. What's up y'all, welcome back to another episode. This one is gonna be quite fun. We are unboxing a new toy and uh, there's a reason for it as well. I don't oftentimes say uh, you need to upgrade or get the latest and greatest GoPro for the best footage for your videos. In fact, I've been using a five and six and even recommend to anybody getting into vlogging and mainly into fishing vlogs because that's who reaches out to me most frequently since that is what I have filmed uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, I recommend most people just get started with any GoPro, four, five, six, seven, whichever one they can find uh, used for the cheapest. I think you should always get started with something basic and kind of see if you even want to continue doing the fishing vlogs, work out the kinks, because there's so many other things and factors other than the camera that's gonna limit uh, your vlogging ability. You know, what happens when the SD card gets corrupted? What happens when you run out of batteries and you forgot you needed more? There's other issues to think about, so it's not just the price of the camera that comes into play, but many other factors. So I'm gonna tell you guys why I decided to spend the money and upgrade to this camera here, uh, which I actually bought brand new inbox off of Facebook Marketplace for $360. The seller was asking $370, and I think, you know, if you were to buy it brand new with tax, you're probably looking at like $433 or something like that so already uh, 70 80 bucks savings right out of the gate and, uh, and I also purchased the media mod from GoPro which is brand new it's literally supposed to be arriving in a few hours I'm like looking out the front door waiting for UPS over here uh, but why did we make the switch and I'm gonna talk about the video qualities which I don't think matter literally million plus subscriber fishing vloggers and other youtubers have been using the hero fours for the longest time without even upgrading until I don't know recently and so I don't think that plays such a big factor, but the audio is what's gonna get us, you guys. The audio is what we've been dealing with for the longest time, trying to figure out what's the best way to get better audio out of these GoPros, and the media mod is the answer. I've seen some reviews, and I can't wait to show you guys why I think this is gonna make all the difference for you fishing vloggers out there, and really just the best overall audio for anybody looking to take video with a GoPro camera, no matter what you're filming. The media mod kit that's sold separately, I think I paid roughly 80 bucks for it, uh, is gonna change the game for us it's nuts so let's go ahead and talk about the upgrade so for the last couple years uh, Devin and I have been filming the fishing vlogs on a hero 5 and a hero 6 now all GoPro audio sucks you know when there's wind it sucks it sounds muffled when you ruffle it up against your shirt or your jacket you're always gonna get that crummy and it's just uh, the audio from GoPros is terrible, and so there's been the external mic option. Well, external mics, the problem is with the fives and up, which has been the majority of these last generations for the last few years, you have to use this 40 or $50 mic adapter. Pricing aside though, a lot of us who are willing to spend the money still have faults with this right here. So the fact is, what is this, my six? Okay, so you plug this in, right? And this is gonna be on my chest in this chest mount. Then you plug in your microphone, and somewhere along the lines, there could be a bad connection here. And what happens is this is moving and some people I've seen even like clamp it down or, or strap it down to their GoPro. I've seen different mounting options and they will still lose audio from time to time. And this has ruined some of my best vlogs. Some of my fishing videos where I've caught my biggest fish, the audio was completely static and not there because the connection was off because maybe this piece right here was a little loose. You can see it's like, it's almost loose. With the media mod, you're not gonna get that. But it will literally ruin your audio 100%. And so that was a huge sacrifice. You never know when you're gonna be giving the tip of a lifetime in a vlog or a video or catch that big fish in my case and not get the audio. And it happened multiple times over multiple videos and not just with me, but other creators that I know. And, uh, and with both of our mic adapters, I mean, it's not just like a random occurrence. Well, I guess it is a random occurrence. <laughs> but, it's, but it's happening too frequently to worry about losing your audio. So these mic adapters essentially to me are trash. And these, uh, these lapel mics are great quality. So now I'll just be able to plug this right into the back of the media mod kit that's coming in for these GoPros. It's gonna be the best audio you've heard. I can say that because I've used a mic before and it was the best audio out of any fishing vloggers you can get. You know, if you're using an external mic, you have the best, crispiest, cleanest audio. I literally, I put this little strap on the lapel mic right there on the chest mount and the mic is right here it doesn't get any better I've seen some reviews from people doing some running tests outdoors some wind tests and the shotgun mic although it is better than the GoPro's audio uh, especially indoors now now if we're talking about indoors entirely different a lot of my filming is outdoors a lot of your filming with your GoPros I bet is outdoors and so you're gonna want the best cleanest audio you can get and so for me the shotgun mic 
isn't as good as I was anticipating. You can still hear the wind noise chopping through sometimes. Yes, the audio is a little bit better. It seems like you can hear the person, uh, the vlogger talking over the wind, which is really what you wanted to pick up and, and decipher because I've noticed many times when the wind is howling on just the stock GoPro in-body microphone that you just, you can hardly even hear your voice. It's so irritating and frustrating. And we've been dealing with this for years now with these GoPros because of the terrible in-house audio. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and uh, get excited about it, man, because we have got the Media Mod Kit on the way. I'm less excited about the GoPro. I could care less. It's a tool to make videos. I don't care about the quality of the video as much because I know it's gonna be as good as any of these others. It's gonna be, this one should be the best out there on the market right now. I'm not worried about the picture quality as much uh, as the audio because the audio is what we can't stand. Look at this bad boy. I feel like I should give it its own spot in the light. Look at this right here. Hmm, pretty slick. It is always fun getting new toys, but now what do we gotta do? Blah, blah, blah. I don't even care to remove it. What else is in here? GoPro Plus, cloud storage, don't care. Download the app, I don't want the app. Need help? I doubt it. Boy, look at this manual. Okay, so there's not much in the box. Sweet, so you get one battery, which is never enough. I'm gonna go ahead and order some aftermarkets. What I found with the aftermarkets on the market is that uh, they don't allow for all the functionality out of your Hero 8. And what I mean by that is I guess the hyper smooth feature requires probably uh, the authentic GoPro batteries. And so if you're really worried about that hyper smooth um, technology that they put in here to go ahead and almost make it look like your GoPro's on a stabilizer and get the smoothest footage as far as shake, then uh, you're gonna have to stock up on the GoPro certified batteries, which I think is like 40 to 50 bucks for an additional battery plus a dual charger. So I mean, if you want four or six batteries, you're talking about spending 50, 100, 150 bucks for a few spares. Not my style. I'm all about the cheap stuff. So I'm gonna hop on Amazon. I found this one brand, I already forget the name. There's a few that are right at the very top when you search GoPro Hero 8 batteries and you get three batteries plus a triple charger for like uh, in the $30 range. And so that's more, I can, I can handle that. I, I might go ahead and get a few extra batteries, but also with the Media Mod Kit, there's another plug-in on the back and I believe I'm gonna be able to plug in a portable charger to it. And so I'll just have constant power and the best audio ever. So I'm very excited to do the first couple fishing videos with this GoPro and more importantly the media mod kit that I'm going to be getting very soon and doing another video on so just be on the lookout for that go ahead and hit notifications and if you're not subscribed already you wouldn't have a point in hitting it anyways this is a I believe a helmet mount type of deal a little bit of an arch there and then you got like a, a charging cable which is probably what I will use to run my uh, well it depends on the length I would probably use this cable to run from my portable charger to the GoPro while I'm operating it, that way uh, it stays charged. But I think it's a little short. No, no, it's pretty good. But honestly, the back of the Media Mod Kit, I don't know if it has this input right here. I think this is just to plug into the GoPro. So uh, we're gonna see what cable might work to keep the GoPro charging inside the Media Mod Kit at all times. That way I can just leave one battery in it all day and not be switching out batteries like I currently do with my fives and sixes. Uh, there's not really a right or wrong way there. I don't mind switching out the batteries every roughly one hour. Uh, once again, I just think if you're, if you're getting into fishing vlogs, I think you should go ahead and just pick you up a GoPro Hero 4, 5, 6, or 7 and get the job done. If you can find one of these like I did, look, if you're not thinking about money, then you need to get the GoPro Hero 8 and you need to get the Media Mod. You need to get an external mic and you need to get rocking and rolling. And it's gonna be the best sounding fishing vlogs that anybody has seen. You're also gonna get the best high quality uh, regular vlogs. I mean, there's two hot shoes on that Media Mod kit that's coming in. And so you can even put like the, uh, you could even put the Video Micro on there. This is one of Rode's most popular mics. It's like 40 bucks. It's linked down in the description for you guys. You can get it at Best Buy, uh, maybe even Walmart. I mean, you can find this thing almost anywhere. It's just like, We've taken this thing on so many trips out of the country. It's almost like it's bulletproof. We have broken one. I did drop a camera and I did break one before. And it's okay, because it's not a $300 mic like what I'm using right now. It's not uh, anything too crazy. Like I say, it's 40 to 50 bucks. So it's not the end of the world and I love this mic for that. You can use that on your GoPro if you're trying to do the whole vlog thing. And so uh, that's gonna be pretty powerful and I'll talk more about that once I actually get the medium mod later in today. But uh, for now, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and charge this battery, my one GoPro Hero 8 battery. And I think we are going to uh, get ready for that Media Mod Kit to come in and, and have some fun with this bad boy. Um, let me see, I wanna just get this thing out of here. There we go, check that out. 
GoPro Hero 8. Eh, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah. 